Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight, and tonight we're taking a look at customizing the MX panel. The first thing we're going to take a look at is customizing the whisker menu, and the whisker menu is what you get when you click on the MX icon in the lower left hand corner. There's a couple things you can do right off the bat to customize the whisker menu. For one, you can add things to your new favorites menu. The favorites menu pops open by default. All you need to do to add something to the favorites menu is to say what you want. Maybe you're a big Oh, Chromium BSU fan, the space shooter game that's included with MX. Just do a right click on there and you can add it to your favorites, you can add it to the desktop as an icon, or you can add it to the panel. I'm going to add it to the favorites list. And there it is. Now if you uh, want that maybe towards the top so that you, when you click open your whisker menu it's right there at your fingertips, well, you can click and left click and drag and drag that wherever you want on the menu. Another thing you can do is instead of having it open to your favorites by default, you can set the whisker menu to open by open up the recently used items list. So you can right click on the whisker menu icon, click on properties, and on the behavior tab, you can click display recently used by default. And this will also and you can also say include your favorites in the recently used list so that now when we open up the recently used list you get not only things like simple screen recorder I have because I recently used it but you also get everything that's in your favorites list as well as your recently used and it's going to be I believe it's ordered more or less by what you used last The panel is another nice thing in MX that you can customize real quick. Uh, the panel, this vertical bar here uh, with a clock on it already, uh, you can change a couple other things. Well, one of the things you can do, you can change the clock right off the bat by right clicking and clicking properties and changing a different format uh, items. I leave it to you uh, to do what you like. I'm going to change it to this uh, digital format here just because I can. Because so I want to show you what happens with some other things you can choose with the panel. If you want to change the panel properties themselves, you right click anywhere on the panel. You can even right click on an icon if you want and select the panel tab and panel preferences. On the panel preferences, you can choose different modes for the panel. Right now it's in vertical mode and you can see all the text is vertical and everything. If I change it to desk bar mode, it gets horizontal and the layout is slightly different. Um, maybe it'll work better for you, maybe it won't. You can customize a clock to shrink it down, or you can make the row bigger so that the clock fits a little better, if you like. I personally like mine a little shorter, but we'll leave it big for now. If you want to move the, the, the bar around, maybe you want to set it in horizontal mode, you can do that. And if you want to move it, you need to unlock the panel, so you uncheck this lock panel box, and you get this handlebar, they call it, and you can slide the panel wherever you want. You can leave it in the middle of the screen if you want to. I don't recommend it. I'd put it to one of the edges. It just makes more sense that way. I, however, happen to like the vertical panel. So I will leave it that way. And we'll lock it to keep it in place. You can set it so that the length doesn't quite go all the way across. A lot of people like the kind of floating toolbar palette style looking panel. It's pretty cool. You can set the color, and if you have comp compositing enabled, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute, uh, you can set some, it says opacity, but that's basically, you can get some transparency effects on the panel. It's pretty cool. And on items, this lets you rearrange items uh, that are on the taskbar now. And this button will allow you, this add new panel button, will allow you to add a new panel. You can have more than one, and here it is. You can drag it around and then you get all, you'll notice this becomes panel 2 up here, and you get all the new options you could want for that panel. I'm going to click away that panel right now because I just, I, for the purpose of this video, I don't have time to mess with it, but hey, do what you like. It's your desktop. Some other uh, quick and dirty ways of, ad, of, of customizing the panels, adding things to the panel. So we can click, there's a couple ways to do that. One of the ways is go down the panel and click add new items. And you get a choice of all sorts of widgets 
to, to add to your panel. And it's pretty nice. And there's a couple of different ways you can add widgets to it. I'm going to add the... Uh, I should mention that if you don't like the whisker menu style and you want a more traditional menu, uh, the XFCE, I believe they call it the Applications menu. It is here, yeah. The Applications menu is here. You can you can drag this to the to the panel and you'll get the the classic XFCE Applications menu that you might be more used to. And if you want that, by all means, put that on there. It's your panel. You can do what you want. Uh, I'm going to add, you see how easy that was to add to the menu. You can drag right out of the dialog box, or if you just click Add, and I'm going to pick something a little less obvious than that. I'm going to click the directory menu, which is kind of neat. You can either drag it right to the panel, and you see the little red line shows you where it's going to go, or you can just click Add, and it will show up at the bottom by default. Nobody wants that below at the right at the bottom, probably, so we can do a right click on the icon and click Move and move it wherever we want. It's pretty fine-grained control. Directory menu is kind of neat because it gives you a directory of your home folders right from the button bar. If you, uh, another way to add to the bar, to the panel, is to open up the whisker menu and let's say we want to add file manager, the full file manager, which is Thunar, to the panel. We can do a right click and say add to panel. And there it is. And same thing, it goes to the bottom by default, but we can move it just like that. Well, let's say I want Chromium BSU on there. Well, I've already done the right click option. Another way to do it is you can drag it straight in. Now, it's a little funky dragging it from the whisker menu because the placement's not as precise because the icon's just so god awful big. But it will work, and it works just fine. And now you get Chromium BSU right on your button bar. Uh, another way to add items to the panel uh, is to use the application finder. And the application finder it actually is in my recently used items, but it's just under accessories, application finder. And this lists, uh, this is a standard XFCE component, and it lists all the various applications that are installed by category on your system. So here I'm going to drag VLC. Again, I can do it straight from, from, from the finder, or I can do a right click. Uh, Actually, no. From here, I need to drag it uh, there, uh, uh, to do to to do that. Uh, the application finder also is available from Alt F2 as just the run box. But if you press the down arrow or click the green down arrow, you get the full application finder. And in MX, Alt F3 also brings up the application finder. Just so you know. So we've added widgets, we've moved panels, we've moved the panels around, we've moved items on the panel. I think we've customized the panel to death. You can also change the color. I'm not changing the color scheme right now on the panel. Um, so for news and documentation, head over to mepiscommunity.org slash mx or join us in the forums at forum.mepiscommunity.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.